Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this x plus 1 over x equal to square root of 13. And now we are going to find the value of x power 5 minus 1 divided by x power 5 and make sure that these x are not equal to 0. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, given equation. And here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and square both sides of this uh, equation. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square. We are going to apply it on the left hand side. If I call this a equals to x and b equal to 1 divided by x. So the left hand side could be written as x square plus 1 divided by x square plus 2 times x and then times 1 over x equals to on the right hand side this square and square root they undo each other. So we ended up with 13 on the right hand side. And now we can see this x and 1 over x, they cancel each other out. So we ended up with the x square plus 1 divided by x square plus 2 equals to 13. So let's go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides. They are gone on the left hand side. So therefore we got x square plus 1 divided by x square turns out to be equal to 11 on the right hand side. So let me go ahead and call this as our equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's recall this identity a minus b whole square equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab. Let's suppose that this a is x and then b is 1 over x then this equation could be written as uh, x minus uh, 1 over x whole square equal to x square plus 1 divided by x square minus 2 times x times 1 divided by x. And now we can see this x and 1 over x they are gone. And here in this next step, this term has been simplified to negative 2. And now we know that this x square plus 1 over x square equals to 11 from this equation 1. So I am going to replace this one by 11. So therefore, this equation could be written as x minus 1 over x whole square equals to 11 minus 2. And now we can see on the right hand side 11 minus 2 is a 9. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. And here we can see this square and square root undo each other. So we ended up with x minus 1 over x equal to positive 3 since we know that x is greater than 0. So let me go ahead and call this our equation number 2. And in this next step, let's recall this uh, cubic uh, identity. a minus b whole cube equals to a cube minus b cube minus 3 times a b times a minus b. If I suppose a is x and b is 1 divided by x and this equation could be written as x minus 1 over x whole power 3 equal to x power 3 minus 1 divided by x power 3 minus 3 times x times 1 over x and then times x minus 1 over x. And now we know that this x and 1 over x, they cross each other out. And we know that this uh, x minus 1 over x is 3 from this equation 2. And likewise, x minus 1 over x is 3 as well. So the left hand side could be written as 3 power 3 equals to 
x power 3 minus 1 over x power 3 minus 3 times this thing is 3. Therefore, our this equation is going to become 27 equal to x power 3 minus 1 divided by x power 3 minus 9. Now let's go ahead and add 9 on both sides to isolate this part x power 3 minus 1 over x power 3. Here we can see this negative 9 and positive 9 is gone. So therefore our x power 3 minus 1 over x power 3 turns out to be equal to 27 plus 9 is going to be 36. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number 3. And now here's our next step. Since our goal is to find the value of this x power 5 minus 1 divided by x power 5 and we know that if we multiply this equation 1 and this equation 3 we can achieve this uh, x power 5 minus 1 over x power 5. Let's go ahead and multiply equation 1 and 3 now. So let me write down x square plus 1 divided by x square times x cube minus 1 over x cube equals to 11 times 36. And now let's go ahead and uh, multiply these two binomials by doing the double distribution. Let's go ahead and multiply the left hand side. This is going to be x power 5 plus x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 over x power 5 equals to when we multiply the right hand side that's going to give us 396 and here in this next step I have rearranged these terms I put this x power 5 minus 1 over x 5 together and then this uh, x minus 1 over x as here and now we know this x minus 1 over x is 3 from this equation 2 so I'm going to replace it by 3 as you can see in this next equation now let's subtract 3 from both sides this is gone so our x power 5 minus 1 over x power 5 simply turns out to be 393 so that's our simplified answer for x power 5 minus 1 divided by x power 5 turns out to be equal to 393 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye